Anyway, let's get to... Wow, actually, there's not as many films here as I thought. Or maybe it just looks more... I can't tell. Is that a lot or not a lot? DreamWorks. DreamWorks is a series, again, or a company that I've watched for, for yonks. Absolute yonks. I think I started off, like, with Shrek. But I know a lot of these side ones that I shouldn't know as much. The ordering of this is interesting, but we'll go with it anyway. Puss in Boots, an interesting one to start on. Also, interesting there's no E or F. The lowest is D for DreamWorks. Puss in Boots, I haven't seen, but I've seen the ending, like the second half, a lot. Spoilers, Humpty Dumpty's the bad guy. I have that drilled into my memory. I don't think people hate Puss in Boots, and it was successful enough to get a sequel. I'd probably call it decent. Does that seem correct? You liked it from what you remember? Puss is A tier. Really? Interesting. Uh, from what I saw, <laughs> Humpty Dumpty is creepy, man. But at the same time, yeah, the fact that it did get well enough to get a sequel is pretty damn good. Um, I probably should watch it all the way through, but people seem to like it. I'm surprised, in all honesty. I'm not going to put it on A or S tier yet because I don't, I don't have the right to. I don't have the experience. I'm going to put it at B because... It's living up to the, the legacy of Shrek, you know? Shrek 1 and Shrek 2 is, like, godly. I'll be surprised, you know, if it gets to that. If I'll be surprised if it can keep up, honestly. As much as you say it does, I don't see. Right. Here's some bad bad news. Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda. This isn't their eternal slot, by the way. Kung Fu Panda. Is that it? There's just three? Okay. Kung Fu Panda 1. I have seen. I enjoy. I wouldn't watch it a lot. I'll probably only put it at A tier. I don't know why. It's really good. Also, though, Jack Black, pretty fun. Kung Fu Panda 2 and Kung Fu Panda 3, I haven't seen. I know I should. I know it's good. Kung Fu Panda 2 is 10 years old. But when I watched Kung Fu Panda 1, I enjoyed it, but I wasn't blown away. I love that one frame of the little rat master floating through the air. <laughs> I hope that's number one anyway. But I haven't seen two and three. I know the concept because I know dad shows up in one and like something happens in number two. I think I've seen the beginning of number two but never finished it. The sequels are really good. I'm not uh, surprised by that, honestly. But I haven't seen it. But there isn't a, there isn't a slot for haven't seen. Like I can't put it at C or D. It doesn't count. So you know what? Fine. We'll put them all at A. But I, I can't put him in S because I haven't seen him. And Kung Fu Panda 1 didn't impress me enough to call it an S. Anyway, moving on. Turbo. I've never seen it. I'm probably going to do a terrible video on it one day, actually. That'd be quite popular and quite fun. It sucks. D tier. A snail that goes fast, but they didn't they didn't tell it very well, apparently. I think it's quite boring is what I've heard. So, uh, yikes. Moving on, we got Trolls. Trolls, I watched. What did I say about it? It was terrible. It was a terrible, yeah, it was a terrible movie. Yeah, it's not as bad as Turbo, which just, like, sucks. There's a massive appeal on Trolls, I can't deny. It's... okay. Spirit! I keep thinking that says Spirit Away. <laughs> Probably decent. 2D animation, gotta give the props for... Never saw it, so we'll put it below Trolls, but better than Turbo. Shrek the Third, is that? Forever After? Oh, that's his face with Forever After? I watched this film, and I was underwhelmed. But then I watched Shea Frilla's video on it, and actually, apparently, thematically, it's really, really good. I liked Shrek the Third a lot, but then later on found out it kind of sucks, and I can kind of agree. I enjoyed the princess scenes in that. But this is underrated. I think I'll put it, I'll put it at a B tier. Maybe not as good as Puss in Boots, if people, no, I'll put it better than Puss in Boots, because I actually know Shrek 4 more than I know Puss in Boots. I was surprised that it was better. I, I didn't like the... Do the roar. Do the roar. I didn't get into that, you know. I like the ending where they're like, mm, and they all learn that they can do that, and the reality actually tells them that's logical. And it does a lot of cool things with the characters they've got. I think it's worth doing a rewatch. Everybody should, because I think it's an underrated gem. Based off that one video, I watch, I watch a lot of video essays to get my opinions, but even still, I'll put it at B tier. Might change that later, we'll see. Shrek the Third. Oh, it's boring. I love the princess scene, you know. I love the, the mum that crashes through things with the wall. Don't like Arthur. Don't like Merlin. The fact that um, Prince Charming is the villain again is boring. Bad. Should have been better. It's not. It's better than Turbo. We'll leave it at that. But I enjoy watching it a lot. I've got it stuck in my head. I know the whole sound. It is what it is. Shrek 2, S tier. Godly. The whole script and dialogue is perfection. I love like the element when... 
the ogres meet the royals and they're finishing each other's sentences as they get closer and closer together. So good. John Cleese as the frog. Fantastic. Jennifer Saunders as the god, the fairy godmother. Godly. Absolutely godly. As is Shrek 1. You know, I would say not as good as Shrek 2. But damn, is it surprising. It, we, we meme on it all the time and we ironically love to make fun of him. But boy, Shrek 1 is a fantastic parody and really funny as a take on the fairy tale genre. Really, really good spin on the Disney tropes at the time, you know? Really love it. Really, really love it. Ooh, The Guardians. I haven't thought about this in a long time. This is a film you always forget the name of. The Guardians of the Galaxy, the, 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 the Guardians, the Ice Guardians, the Jack Frost the movie. Not the best title. Maybe not the best marketing for them. The concept is interesting. Another Christmassy kind of themed movie, in a sense. Not as good as Arthur Christmas. Not as good as Shrek. Not as good as Kung Fu Panda. It's alright. Better than Shrek Forever. I quite enjoyed it a lot. I think it's got quite a little cult following. I'll put it at A tier. I remember it too much. The Sandman's fun. Not scary like I thought he would be, but you know. Penguins of Madagascar. I never watched. I probably should. Madagascar's really f funky slapstick. Never saw it though. So why is Spirit so low? Put it better than, yeah, it's because I haven't seen it. Trolls is worse. Penguins of Madagascar, I'm gonna presume is also pretty bad. I think that 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 spin-off didn't do as good as the main Madagascar movies. Is that correct? I think it didn't sell very well. I don't know. Ah, oh, Peabody and Sherman. Now don't we have a grudge against that movie? Obviously at the time of making this, me and my shadows video just came out recently and we learned that Peabody and Sherman replaced me and my shadow. Me and my shadow could have been an S tier. It could have been. Peabody and Sherman flopped in cinemas. It took down the fan favorite canceled movie and boy oh boy. Maybe it's better than, no, I'll say it's not better than Shrek the Third. At least I have a little bit of nostalgia for that. Aliens vs. Monsters, never saw, heard it was bad. It looks cool. Reminds me of Megamind. Oh, there's Megamind. Well, we're plonking him down there. Worse than Peabody and Sherman. Megamind though, what a gem. Oh, love it. Markiplier and all. Good fun. I, I didn't see it at the time it came out, but I saw it later. It's just so, it, I, don't, I can't explain it. It just holds on so nicely and well. I just can't, I can't explain it. I just really, really, really love it. Is it better than Shrek 1? No, no, it's not. It's really good. Not better than Shrek's. Doesn't, does, doesn't burst that wall like the Toy Story wall, even though Toy Story was worse than my top three, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Madagascar 3. This is the cinema one. Uh, I didn't see it. I remember one part made me feel kind of uncomfortable from what I did hear about it, but people really like it, I think. So we'll put it a B tier. I don't know it otherwise, but we'll do it as... I'll put it on a high C tier, because again, I don't actually officially know it. Dragon... How to Train Your Dragon 2. This is a series. This is a series I could really get behind. I watched How to Train Your Dragon 1 in cinemas. It was the first 3D movie I watched. I remember him running through the door with fire coming through. Oh, really, really good. Never watched the sequel for the longest time until my girlfriend introduced me to it. She keeps popping up in these stories, apparently. She's a big, big fan of How to Train Your Dragon. How to Train Your Dragon. She really loves the sequel, really hyped it up, and I enjoyed it. I don't think I enjoy it as much as the first, but it's still damn good, I think, on that front. We'll talk more about How to Train Your Dragon in a bit, but that alone, the way that the character ages up is also fantastic. I literally feel like that character. I've gone through all his phases now at this point, it feels like. Except the part where he's got like a peg leg. Not quite that bit, but oh well. Whatever the hell this is, I've seen in trailers before. Home. Uh, I don't think it did very well. I don't think it's very good. Let's keep it down here, shall we? That's enough for us. The Croods! I never saw. I'll be honest, but I think it did quite well. People are quite liked it. Is it better than Madagascar? Probably not. Probably people liked it more, uh, less than Madagascar. But, I mean, saw the trailer for the sequel. Looked interesting enough. Yeah, I haven't got much else to say about it. Oh, okay. This style I really, really like of DreamWorks and kind of Sony. Captain Underpants, I really love that style. Um, never watched it though, but I'm gonna assume, pretty fun. Not as, ah, oh, but they're all, they're kind of merging. People don't seem to shout Captain Underpants' praises though. So I'll say it's below Crude's, out of guess. But people say S tier, easy S, really. I would have thought it's good. Let's put it better than Madagascar 3. Um, but I haven't seen it, so I'm gonna have to mash it down on C. I, if, it, if I haven't seen it, it has to go on C. A? It's an A, wow, okay. 
I'll add Captain Underpants to uh, Gotta See It at some time. Boss Baby. Oh boy. The sequel's coming out in July. Look forward to that. <sighs> this movie is quite the crowd pleaser. It was interesting, some of the directions they took things. Really not a fan of that fart joke that they put in that montage. Like, why would you do that? At the same time, I'd say it's inventive. It's in the lowest tier, but I'll put it better than Shrek the Third. Is that a big offense against Shrek the Third? Maybe. Maybe it is. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it low because of what it did to the industry. Illumination's way worse than that, but what, do you, what can you do? Madagascar 2! I think people really, really like. I haven't seen it. We'll put it at C tier. Again, How to Train Your Dragon. I've seen. Uh, Kung Fu Panda, I haven't, even though I put it at A tier. Okay, I've broken my own rule, but oh well, we're going with it. And Madagascar, Madagascar series, I also haven't seen. I'm bad at DreamWorks, just not onto it. I don't know why. I have seen number one, though. We'll put it at a high A tier. It doesn't blow my mind like it does other people. Mega Mind does, Trek does, Madagascar doesn't. How to Train Your Dragon 1. I've already mentioned it before. I've seen it for the first time in cinemas as my first 3D movie. Really, really like it. Really, really do. I'll put it at S tier. Even if it is the first one and the sequels maybe get better, it's got a soft spot in my heart. You know, I just love the way it all comes about. I really, really like it. B movie! Where else am I going to put it? Of course I'm going to put it in the B tier. <laughs> it's, uh, very, very quotable. I would watch the sequel. I'm so upset that YouTube took down all the copyrights of speeding up the entire movie. That sucks. That's the worst thing about the B movie. <laughs> Is it better than Madagascar 2? Sure, it gives us a lot of enjoyment. This this industry is about entertainment, and B-Movie keeps me very entertained, you know? Right, final line, let's get through this. This is... Ah, that's How to, how to Train Your Dragon 3. We haven't seen How to, how to Train Your Dragon 3. <laughs> God, I keep saying the wrong one, I'm so sorry. We should. We've heard it's really, really good. We've heard it's really emotional. My girlfriend's avoiding it because it's emotional. After, you know, because obviously number two is all about the dad. Number three is, I think, all about the mom. And, like, there's a love interest for the dragon, because of course there is. We will see it one day. But we will get to it one day. Perfect grades. I wouldn't be surprised if this is, like, the best. But I'm going to put it... No, damn it. No, I'm going to break my rules. Put it at eight here. I haven't seen it yet. In fact, damn it. Put it better than all of them. Uh, yeah, we'll do. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. We're going with it. I'm pretty sure it's good. We'll watch it one day. It'll be really good. Over the Hedge. I have a soft spot for. I played the video game. Loved it as a kid. Loved the movie as a kid. I had a real bad empathy scare about the the final zapping of the bear and the exterminator and the owner with the big zappy uh, painful thing. Not a fan of that, but I really enjoyed the movie. Shouldn't, because it's kind of crappy. It turns out. Um. Better than Shrek the Third, though. We'll put it at B. We don't need to talk about it much more. Shark Tale. I watched this when it came out. Apparently, I was really on the DreamWorks bandwagon. My mom really wanted to show me another Finding Nemo. I don't remember it much. I remember there's a car wash scene. The guy's pressured by a gang. And the whole film looks gross. It's like algae sea instead of beautiful ocean like Finding Nemo. It's ugly. It's really ugly. We'll put it at a... Oh, I don't know. I don't know where we put it. It's worse than Trolls. Worse than Penguins? Worse than Boss Baby? No. Mm -mm -mm. High D. Put it on a better than better than Boss Baby. That's about it. Yeah, sounds about right to me. Sinbad? Oh, never seen it. But I've heard it's really, really good. My girlfriend really, really likes it, apparently. We'll watch it one day. Better than all the rest, sure. Abominable is abominable. Oh, is that the word for it? Ab Not good. Generic, basic, politically controversial. Sucks. It's just too too generic. Worse than Shrek. At least that's interesting. Peabody and Showman was actually written by a good writer. Holmes boring. Abominable at least has a little bit of emotive to it with the violin creating powers. I made a whole video on Abominable. Ants is ugly. I didn't like Bugs Life. I ain't gonna like Ants. Better than Abominable. Not better than Peabody and Sherman. Presumably. Because that was actually written by another author. I presume it's good in story. Ants. I'm gonna pass. Trolls 2. Again, haven't seen it, but it's popular. Not good as Sinbad. Uh, yeah. Um, successful. Not better than Captain Underpants. Maybe better than Madagascar 3. Sure, we'll go with that. Flushed Away. Oh, this is a fan favorite for us Brits. We really like Flushed Away. But when I watched it as a kid, I did not like it. 
I'm in the minority of everyone I know for not liking Flushed Away. But I think people acknowledge it's a good film, generally. I'll put it at B tier, because I don't like it, but other people do. I'll acknowledge it's a good movie, but it's not my thing at the time. <laughs> <gasps> Wallace and Gromit is here! Curse of the Were-Rabbit! Oh, I don't know if people like this movie, but I certainly did. I really, really, really enjoy it. Put it in A tier. Dragons 2 should be higher. I'm going to put that there, because Wallace and Gromit's better than Guardians, not better than Dragons 2. Let's do it like that. Something like that. That'll work. Sure. That's how I see it. Chicken Run. Oh. I was afraid of this movie as a kid. It looks scary. It's about chickens getting decapitated. I ain't a fan of that personally. Um, so I avoided it for the longest time. Looks kind of ugly. I'm sure the story's good, but I did not get into it. Let's put it at a B tier. Better than Puss in Boots? No. <gasps> Prince of Egypt. Similar to Sinbad. Really, really good. I really plan to watch it someday. But I haven't. All right. Final two. The final two DreamWorks animated movies. El Dorado. This is a movie I have seen. It's 2D. It's really, really good. I gotta tell you. In fact, yeah, I'll do it. S tier. El Dorado is so fun. I've got the soundtrack. I listen to the music. I love the combination. It's great to see the game grumps in 2D animated DreamWorks form, you know? And then Crude's a New Age. I ain't seen. Has it even come out? Is it Crude's 3 that's coming out? We'll put it next to Crude's, a little worse than the original. There you go. That's our DreamWorks tier list. A lot more conglomerated because there's only five tiers this time. But Shrek's the golden, Mega Mine behind, a little bit of How to Drain Your Dragon, and El Dorado 2. But boy, DreamWorks has a lot of crap as well, doesn't 